This week, the Iceman hosted what I'm calling a cultural experiment. It was a youth basketball camp featuring players from all over the globe. They were playing, communicating, and even learning alongside American athletes. I had a chance to sit down and talk to Ice and his son, G, about the camp that they're calling the George Gervin Experience. The Iceman George Gervin and his son G hosting a basketball camp won't surprise anyone. What sets this one apart is how they selected their players. We're really kind of giving them a Gervin experience. That's what me and G call it. But, you know, G was able to bring 30 kids over from, from Sweden to kind of give them an experience. You heard right. Over 30 kids from across the world traveled right here to San Antonio for a basketball camp. But since they've been here, they've learned much more than just crossovers and pump fakes. This trip is bigger than the game of basketball. You know, this game, this, this trip was more about, you know, about life and, and just showing them, you know, how other people, uh, all the other walks of life and how they survive and how they deal with each other and stuff. So this is more of like a cultural experience. Everyone has ideas about certain things, but, you know, maybe your idea is wrong. And it, sometimes it takes meeting someone that that's outside of your, your comfort zone to understand certain things. And that's what we've uh, tried to bring to the experience. On top of life lessons, this year's coaches also bring tons of hoops experience. Every coach played professionally, either in the NBA or overseas. It's a blessing, man, to be able to be able to be coached by Hall of Famers like Iceman and his son G. It's definitely a blessing. I'm really grateful for what they've done. Like Coach Reed, he's been my mentor and everything for me. It only made sense, you know, if if I could have the opportunity to help someone learn the game, learn the culture, meet new friends. Why not? Not only do the campers have new American friends, they have new favorite American everything. The food is good. Everything around is so like so bigger. Macaroni and cheese. The Eight Mile movie. Uh, yeah, macaroni and cheese was my favorite. Mac and cheese is great, but once the kids step on the hardwood, would they really be able to compete with the American athletes? The Iceman says yes. You know, these kids can play. You know, they got kids, they live in Sweden, but they from all over the world. You got some kids from Africa, um, you know, very athletic. Um, you know, you got some kids from Germany. I mean, the guys can play. So they get the Iceman stamp of approval on the court. But there is one part of the American game that has been a little tougher to adjust to. Uh, party speed. The speed is very different. The speed here is way faster than in, Euro in European basketball. So, like, if you can master the American game, you should be able to play mostly everywhere. While the players are focused on mastering the American game, their coaches know the Gervin experience is about much more than that. The whole idea of this George Gervin experience is the life lesson my dad taught me. It's always respect the next man and also just to, to pass it on and, and show the next man, you know, and, and, and help somebody else out. I think that's the key, you know, is being able to get along, being able to understand the value of teamwork. And I think that's what we're showing them here also. Uh, it's the whole picture, man, of what really makes a good basketball player or a good person. Good to see the Gervin family doing great things for the next generation of athletes. Now, what we weren't able to show you in that piece were the images from G's Twitter and Instagram account. When they weren't on the court, the kids took field trips to Fiesta, Texas, the Alamo, and even, yes, the AT&T Center, all in an attempt to get a true Alamo City experience. And I'd say that mission was accomplished. Don?